What is up, guys? So we made it to a new week. I'm going to kind of shake up this vlog uh, and try to do things a little bit differently. So instead of just doing a bunch of cuts to me saying what happened to the next day, I'm just going to kind of take you guys along with me through my whole week. Uh, Monday already worked out, but today is Tuesday. It's my day off. Uh, I went to go get a few groceries. So I'm going to show you guys some of my meal prep later. And then I'm going to head to the mall right now and try to see if I can find myself a hat uh, to cover my head because it's very um, sensitive to the sun. I can burn really easily just because of my skin type. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go into the mall and take you guys with me and then maybe go look at a few shirts just because I've been getting a lot smaller and a lot of my shirts are getting bigger, which is a good thing. So yeah, let's go to the mall. So I just got my hat at Lids. Um, I wanted to put my logo on it, but they say it takes two days to convert my logo into their specific file format. So, and then they said it would take $20 additionally for the price. So I'm not gonna do that. And now right now I'm in the dressing room trying on some clothes. Uh, no luck so far. Just trying to find the right size for me just since I have lost some weight. So I'm not gonna give up, just keep looking around. Okay, let's try round two of some shirts. So let's see. Okay, so not feeling that one. This one, uh, this one's getting closer, but still doesn't feel right. I feel like I'm still at that weird weight where I still have some fat right here in my chest. Okay, so the first store was a bust, so I'm gonna have to go walk around and try to find another store. So, it's pretty good, it's like a dark green. I hope you guys can see that, but it does fit pretty well. So Macy's was a bust, H&M was a bust. Now I'm inside of JCPenney and trying to see if I can find anything here. But so far this seems like a bust too, so I hate shopping. But I'm gonna keep looking. I just wanna to try to find two or three shirts, just some essentials to hold me over a little bit. What I don't understand is why everything is dress shirts or button up shirts. That's not what I want. I just need plain t-shirts, so. Guess we're going to another store. Well, didn't find any clothes, but I still got the hat and I got some steps in, so I'm gonna go ahead back to the house and do a workout. Okay, so I'm making some meal prep right now. We have some rice going, I have some turkey. Um, I already have some banza pasta already prepped, so I'm just gonna be putting my turkey on top of it with some of, uh, which one is it, the Simply Balanced? The Simply Balanced pasta. Um, and I've been kind of having that for my lunches the entire week. So uh, I'm gonna have that. And then this evening I'm gonna be having some chicken and rice just to finish up my macros. I'm gonna try to count my macros for the whole day tomorrow uh, so you guys can kind of see what I eat in a day. So I just finished up my workout for the night. I took a shower. Um, my turkey's all finished up. Just to give you guys some more um, information about my meal prep, uh, I'm probably gonna do a separate video to kind of go more in depth, but for my turkey, um, that I have here. I actually will um, just leave it in this big container and then I already have pasta noodles right here. I already have pasta noodles here prepped already weighed out so I can enter that in my system and then I'll just put the turkey on top of it and then some marinara sauce. So that's kind of how I keep track of the macros for my lunch. Of course for my dinner I can weigh everything out when I'm here at home. Yeah I'm gonna wake up pretty early in the morning and um, head to over to work so not going to work out in the morning but uh, you guys will see me in the evening i'm going to grill some chicken and then tomorrow's workout is a yoga stretch session so kind of excited to have a more relaxed workout tomorrow so i just wrapped up work and i'm heading over to the mall really quick i got my black hat yesterday and i decided i'm going to go back and get a different one it was just a plain hat and I decided I kind of wanted to do a pop of something so I might just get like a college football hat. Okay so I wrapped up and got my hat at the mall and then I did my online health class for work. I'm now at the grill so this is all just heating up. So I already did most of my meal prep yesterday so right now what I'm doing is meal prepping my chicken um, that I need so I'm going to be eating that for my dinner meals and I'm having that pasta for my lunches um, Yeah, it's kind of like a good way for me just to kind of have a straightforward meal plan It sounds kind of plain the chicken's actually pretty flavorful and it's and for me I kind of like very simple foods. So this actually doesn't bother me I know at some point I maybe want to change it up But for right now this is a good way for me to hit my macros and just kind of um, Keep myself at a good steady weight loss while continuing to work out. I don't know if there's anything else exciting going on for me I've been just trying to think of things to do. I really am trying to think of ideas for this channel and try to have multiple videos a week. So I'm still trying to think if I'm gonna do, do like a meal prep video or maybe just show you um, a breakdown of one workout and show you like the parts where I struggle towards the end because I'm, I'm not really good at my workouts. Um, I, do, I do pretty well, but towards the end, I start to get a little weaker and just wanna show you guys more of a realistic view. 
I still have my Ancestry DNA video that I want to post. Um, I haven't posted that yet, so maybe I'll do that this week. All right, I just got home from work. I'm going to jump straight into a workout and then eat some dinner. And I am feeling exhausted. Not really feeling today's workout, but still going to power through it for 30 minutes. So I'm just going to jump into it. Oh, last night I went to bed really late. I'm now at work and I'm going to be here until around 2 o'clock today. And then I'm going to go home and take a small nap. But for now, I just got to power through this shift and then we'll see uh, what today brings. I think I might uh, edit a little bit or just uh, I have a lot on my mind. So I might share that with you guys a little bit later. Oh man, I am finally off work. Uh, I'm back at the house. I'm heading into the kitchen right now and I'm going to make myself some lunch. I was thinking a couple hours ago that I wanted to kind of show you guys what I eat in the day. Let me show this is all straight. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm eating for every meal. So for today, I had to go macro bar this morning. So you guys know I always put that in my description, which is this one right here. So we get that to focus. Go macro bar, this is my favorite one. It's the protein pleasure uh, description and link down below if you guys ever wanna check it out. You don't have to, but these are the ones that I like. I'm actually going to make myself a turkey sandwich right now, and I don't know. I don't even know what I really, really want with it. Typically at dinner time is when I eat most of my vegetables. I always think people give macros a bad rep um, because sometimes you'll see people on YouTube who, you know, eat like super, super unhealthy food items like pop tarts or cereals and stuff, and they use that as like their basis for their diet. Uh, the science behind it, at least some basics from what I've been able to learn from. Again, I'm not a nutritionist. It's just kind of uh, some information that I've tried to dig for. That it, If you basically put yourself in a caloric deficit, you will lose weight. Even if you're eating 1,500 calories of cookies compared to 1,500 calories of really healthy, you know, plant-based foods, you got to realize that even if you're losing weight, it does affect your body internally when it comes to your nutrition value. So eating 1,500 calories worth of cookies isn't really good for your body even if you're losing weight. I think a good thing is finding a healthy balance because for me personally, I want this to be a complete lifestyle change. I'm not here to just do a diet and just do a fad. I really want to you know, make sure that this is a long-term uh, commitment for myself that I wanna eat healthier. And sometimes you, know, you may not want to always eat a vegetable in every meal and that's okay. So for me, what I usually do is I try to make a turkey sandwich. I usually use this Dave's bread um, so I can show you guys. I know the lighting's not great. I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer. Some Dave's bread. And then usually I try to get um, myself some turkey. Let's see if it's even in here still. Did I use it all? I don't think I used it all. Okay. So I usually get some turkey, which is this one right here, the Hillshire Naturals. Um, I would prefer to have organic, uh, but this is something that I can get from bulk from Costco right now. So it's kind of why I've been using it because I try to get all my meat in one place. Um, just because I feel like I can kind of save a little bit more money. I'm going to have this. I usually will have it with some cheese. I usually just put mustard because there's not really any calories in that. Uh, once in a while, I'll try to use like a low fat or a vegan mayo. Uh, this is the vegan one, but to be honest, the macros really aren't great. It's like 10 fat and there's some saturated fats in there, polyunsaturated, monosaturated. So this isn't really good for you. Yeah, I've kind of gotten better at uh, just having mustard. It's funny because I didn't used to eat mustard. I actually kind of hated it when I was younger, uh, but now it's kind of grown on me. So that is fine. I'll let my body adjust. Lastly, with my turkey sandwich, I try to have maybe like a little bit of carbs because I, I usually with my macros, I have a lot of carbs in the day. Um, so this one's pretty good. These are baked lays or ruffles. Um, so this is the one that I'm going to be eating today. I'm going to build the whole meal right now and show you guys, and then I'm going to put the macros up for the whole day. So the first thing I'm going to pop up was my Go Macro bar, and then I'll put it in the sandwich, and I'll show you guys where my macros are at that point, and then I'll bring you guys back around dinner and show you guys, you know, what I eat to basically stay in my macro count. Sometimes I'll have a few extra calories left over by the end of my uh, dinner. Sometimes I'll choose to have a dessert. Um, it can be like a candy bar if you really want it that bad. Um, but a lot of times what I stick with that is something that's more natural is these organic dried mangoes from Costco. I don't know why, but I love these things. It, it's because I think they're a little bit sweet and they get rid of that sugar craving for me. And it's just carbs. You get 26 grams of carbs and one gram of protein as the nutrition facts on this for a serving. It's about 30 grams, which it's not a lot at all. Like you could have maybe five 
five or six slivers of this, and that's basically 30 grams, which is a little sad. Um, this is how big they are, but I mean, one serving is 110 calories, so if you're really short on carbs, I really love using this as a way to catch myself back up without having to resort to chips or you know, like a candy bar. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today, showing you guys what I eat in a day. Um, also, I wanted to bring up while I'm making my food that I've been trying to be better at posting on Instagram, and uh, my last post that I just made was a little bit of a before and after photo of my weight loss journey, which is really uh, weird for me because I knew I was bigger, but I just feel like I looked a lot bigger 30 pounds ago. So far I've lost about 28 pounds. Well, yeah, I don't know, it's just really weird. I, I, I posted it yesterday and I got a lot of positive feedback from people I used to go to school with, um, some friends I haven't seen in a while. And it's just really nice and encouraging to, you know, have friends who are really there and listening. And it's just really nice to have that encouragement because sometimes when you're on your weight loss journey, you may be alone uh, in the whole thing. And just getting those comments once in a while saying, hey, you look great, or have you been losing weight? All that stuff really feels good. So, uh, yeah, I just want to appreciate you guys for liking my uh, Instagram and really following along with me so that I don't feel alone. Um, I think that's great and that I'm there for you guys and you guys are there for me and we're just kind of encouraging each other and really pushing ourselves forward so so today's weigh-in is 242.8 so I guess I've technically gained 0.1 pounds since last week um, you know what? I don't feel that defeated as, as I told you guys yesterday when I had my post from my before and after photo, I feel like I look a lot lighter and I know that on some weeks, you know, you may not lose uh, any weight and that is okay. Uh, my biggest focus right now is just trying to be consistent and keep going. Um, I've been really good at counting my macros and just trying to keep that steady pace. I don't think you should ever feel defeated because sometimes, you know, you may not lose weight because maybe you're gaining muscle. Maybe you need to start cutting a few more calories or readjusting your macros and just taking a look at it because as you get lighter, um, you need to change that. Um, I'm not feeling defeated. I still feel good. I'm still feeling strong. I actually feel thinner uh, personally when I look at myself and I think that's really important. It's not always about the number on the scale. Uh, so yeah, this week has been really fun. I really hope you guys liked this new style of filming. Um, trying to take you guys along with me with my entire day. So yeah, always uh, tune in to my channel. Um, I try to post every single week and I will see you